Good morning students, myself Sushmita, Assistant Professor ECE RCET. So in this video we will be seeing about linear wire antennas. So what is linear wire antenna? So on completing this particular video you will be able to explain what is linear wire antenna. Also you will be able to define Hertzian diagram. So first thing linear wire antennas. So there are different types of linear wire antennas. So let's see one by one. So first thing is infinitesimal dipole and then small dipole short dipole radiated power from short dipole radiated resistance from short dipole. So these are the four different types of linear wire antennas. So next thing is we can see uh, the uh, that is the graphical representation of infinitesimal dipole along x y and z axis so what is hertzian dipole so in a hertzian di uh, dipole is an infinitesimal current line that is ideal it is denoted as ideal which actually does not exist in real time uh, real life that is this hertzian dipole is so in simple words we can say that Hertzian dipole is a short linear antenna when radiating is assumed to carry constant current length along its length. So next thing antenna resistance. So in order to calculate the power that we are given to an antenna it must be connected across a transmission line. So to prevent the standing waves from acquiring within the line or to create a maximum power transfer the resistance of the transmission line must be equal to the resistance of the antenna. This antenna resistance in is termed as a radiation resistant as well. So we can define this as the fictitious resistance which should dissipate as much power as the antenna in the question is radiating wherever it is connected to the same transmission line. So we can calculate the antenna resistance as it is uh, not all the energy that is being absorbed by the antenna but it is also the energy that is being radiated by the antenna. Losses can occur within the antenna that is imperfect dielectrics or we can also call it as eddy current such as antenna efficiency. We can define this by eta is equal to P transmitter divided by P input which is equal to RR divided by RR plus RL where RR is the resistance of antenna and RL is the resistance uh, due to the losses. Next we can see a small dipole or uh, the length of the short dipole can be given as lambda by 50 less than L less than lambda by 2. So this particular current distribution we are taking a small part of current distribution from the small dipole and this particular antenna small antenna the vector magnetic potential can be calculated across the x y and as well as this direction. This magnitude calculation is represented in the form of equation as a vector is equal to z cap 1 by 2 mu by 4 pi i naught l e power minus j beta r by r where a of small dipole is exactly half of an a infinitesimal dipole. Similarly, the small antenna such as electric and magnetic fields in the far field E eta similar to J eta beta I naught L E power minus J beta R divided by 8 pi R sin theta <coughs> similarly H phi as well as E omega. So these three theta phi and R are the three parameters that can be used for representing electric as well as magnetic fields in the far field region. Next we are going to calculate the directivity of infinitesimal dipole and short dipole where d0 is equal to 4 pi divided by omega a which is equal to 3 by 2 1.5. So the directivity of short dipole is same as those of infinitesimal dipole because the normalized photon of both dipoles can be same. So next one is directivity, normalized power pattern and radiation resistance from infinitesimal dipole. So D0, U1 and RR. So as we saw earlier the directivity as well as the RR of the antennas can be calculated by assuming the antenna that is in the medium of free space. So this, this is, these are all some fixed values where we have calculated the directivity, normalized power pattern UN and as well as the radiation resistance RR for an infinitesimal so while comparing infinitesimal small dipole and short dipole we can see that the radiated power Pt is equal to 40 pi square L by lambda the whole square into I square. So whereas in case of short dipole 
the radiated power is four times less than that of the infinitesimal small dipole so this is one of the major difference of small infinitesimal small dipole and short dipole similarly the radiation resistance rr is equal to 80 pi square l by lambda square and the radiation resistance is also four times less when compared to that of the infinitesimal so in general we can say that the power and the radiation resistance that is being radiated from the short dipole is comparatively four times smaller than the infinitesimally short dipole so next one is four field approximation so we are considering this and uh, we are calculating the total phase error of 5 by 8 which is acceptable and it is represented by the mathematical equations k is at naught square divided by 2 pi or less than or equal to pi by 8 and similarly the four field approximation can be given as r greater than or equal to 2 d square by so now coming to the finite length uh, dipole current distribution i of z is equal to i naught sin k l by 2 minus z and similarly i naught l sin l by 2 plus z so for this is under two conditions where z is 0 to l by 2 in this case it will be a negative one and whereas minus l by 2 to 0 it will be a positive one assumptions the current is antenna is center feed and current is minimum at the ends so current in and for center feed wire antenna will be having a sinusoidal form with nulls that are present at the end points so next one is finite length dipole radiated field so here we are considering the electric and the magnetic field components in the four field for infinitesimal dipole which is again given as e theta h phi and e r and similarly the four field approximation will is can be given by this representation so next one is the total electric field what is total electric field which is nothing but summing up all the contributions from the infinitesimal dipole so total field is equal to element factor into phase factor so we can say that the electric field of the finite length can be given by uh, equation so considering the sinusoidal current distribution we can say that elevation plane patterns of the thin pole since they will be having l value ranging from lambda lambda by 4 lambda by 2 3 lambda by 4 and lambda this is taken at various points and uh, we have calculating the half power beam width so half power beam width when it is at l less than or equal to 50 then the half power beam width is said to achieved at 90 degree and l is less than or equal to pi by 2 then the half power beam width is achieved at 74.93 degree and l is less than or equal to lambda half power beam width is 47.8 degree so these are the calculation for half power beam width so we can say that full wavelength dipole antenna is more directional than the shorter quarter wavelength dipole antenna and larger antenna is said to have the increased directivity 1.5 wavelength dipole antenna is being plotted and we know that there will be a pattern maximum at approximately at 45 degree or minus 45 degree and similarly the dipole antenna is symmetric when it is viewed azimuthally as a result the radiation function is not an azimuthal angle phi hence we can say that this particular dipole antenna is best example of omnidirectional antenna similarly e field will be having only one vector component and consequently the fields are said to be linearly polarized so this is the three dimensional pattern so far we were considering only the 2d dimensional of the infinity sum uh, dipole now taking the 3d dimensional patterns we can say that l is equal to 1.25 lambda so this will be the pattern that is obtained along the linear antenna and this is two dimensional pattern when l is 1.25 lambda so this is again a normalized 3d pattern you can see exactly how the antenna will be radiating with 1.5 wavelength dipole antenna so I hope you all understood and this is a quiz question based on linear dipole. So list out the real time application of linear antenna and state the advantage and disadvantage of linear antenna. I hope you all had a very useful session. Thank you.